Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to My Zone Online School. I am Teacher Hartung and our theme this week is Spring and Animals. Now before we start our lesson today, let's sanitize. Make sure you put enough sanitizer on your hands so that you can clean and keep the germs away. Now let's see what we're going to learn about today. This lesson will be about vocabulary, sight words, and addition and subtraction. For this part of our lesson, we will start on page 20. Now here, we will do some vocabulary. Now the instruction says, you have to read the vocabulary words. Now you will see that for each vocabulary word, you also have a picture. Now let's quickly read the words and see what they are. The first one is dog. Then we have cat, bird, pet and fish. Now you will see once again, boys and girls, every vocabulary word has a picture to help you find or know these words. And the next part it says, you have to fill in the missing letters. Now you will see that the words have been given to you and in each word there is one missing letter. Now you have to go back and look at your vocabulary words to try and find the missing letters in each word. Now let's quickly look at the first one and try to find the missing letter. Now the first word starts with the letter D and then we have the missing letter and the last letter is the letter G. Can you tell me which word from your vocabulary words starts with the letter D? Good job everyone, it's dog. So that means that our missing letter is the letter O. So you have to go ahead and write in the letter O so that you can complete the word. And the word will now read dog. And before you continue to fill in all the other missing letters, let's quickly look at the next part of the activity. Here it says you have to search the vocabulary words. Now there you will see you have a crossword. And you have to go ahead and try to find all these vocabulary words in the crossword. On the board, I have a piece of the crossword and we are going to try and find these two words. The word fish and the word cat. Okay, 
Now let's start with the word fish. So here we look at the first letter of the word and let's try and find the letter F. And here it is right in the beginning. So here we have the letter F. The next letter is the letter I. Do we have the letter I below? No. Do we have the letter I next to the letter F? Yes, we do. And if you look further, you will see the rest of the word. So now we go ahead and we circle the word fish. Here we have now found our first word. And remember everyone, once you have found the word, remember to cross it out so that you know you found this word. Now let's try and find the next word, the word cat. First we have to find the letter C. Let's see, can we see the letter C anywhere? It's right there. And now we have to find the next letter, which is the letter A. Do we have a letter A next to the word or the letter C? No, that is an S. Let's see below the letter C. Is that an A? That's right. That's the letter A. And then we will see the letter T right below the A. And that means we found the word cat. So now we go ahead and we circle the word. Remember everyone, make sure you scratch it out to make sure or to indicate that you have found this word. Okay, now everyone, there are lots of other words that you need to find. So I'm going to leave you to find those words on your own. But before we do that, let's quickly turn our booklets to page 21 and see what we have to do here. Here we will learn about sight words. Now here we have to look for all the sight words. The first one, the first part there it says we have to read the sight words. And these words are yellow, year and away. Now it says you also have to go ahead and trace these sight words. Now there you will see it gives you the little uh, the words given and you have to go ahead and you have to trace these words. So you need to take your pencils or crayons and you have to put it on the word and trace it. And right next to it you have to go ahead and write out the word on your own. So all the words that you trace you have to write down. Let's look at the next part. Here it says you have to find and circle the sight words. Now there you have a lot of words given. Here, jump, see, yellow, where, help and play. So you have to find the sight words and you have to circle them. Now on the board I wrote some of these words as well. So I just want to show you how you have to go ahead and circle your sight words. So what you do is you look at all the words and once you found a sight word, you must go ahead and circle the word. Okay, let's have a look at the next part of the activity. There it says on page 21, let's turn our booklets, it says here we have to read each sentence and then circle the sight words again. Now once again I wrote one sentence on the board and we have to find the sight word in this one sentence. This sentence reads, the sun is yellow. Now I think this one already gives us a clue, so in the sentence you can go ahead and circle your sight words. Okay, now let's go ahead and have a look at the last part of your activity. 
Now here, you have to choose two sight words and then you have to write your own sentences. Choose two sight words and write your own sentences. So now you can go ahead and choose from the sight words on top and from those words you write your own sentences. Right everyone, I hope you will have lots of fun finishing these activities. We will see you shortly after the break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. This part of our lesson today will start on page 22. Now here we are going to do some numbers and here we will do 10 more and 10 less. Now there you will see you have a few numbers that you have to write that are more, 10 more and 10 less. So you will see a picture of a popsicle and in each popsicle you have a number and these numbers you have to now add 10 or subtract 10. So when we talk about 10 more then it means we have to add and when we talk about 10 less it means we will subtract. Further on it says we have to also color the popsicles. So once you are done with all your sums, you can then go ahead and color your popsicles. Now let's have a look at the two numbers that I chose that we are going to try and solve. Now remember we said earlier 10 more and 10 less. Now when we say more, we need to remember that we need to add. And when we say less, we will subtract or minus. Now we have to take the number, remember this is the number in the popsicle. Only difference is I did not draw the popsicles. Right, let's see. The number 32. Now we have to take the one number and we have to add 10 more. And then we take the same number 32 and we less 10, which means we minus 10. Now I went ahead and I wrote the sum here for you as well. So it will then say 32 with 10 more means 32 plus 10. Remember, more means plus. And then when we say 32 plus 10, it is equal to 42. And then the next one, we have to less 10. Or remember, we also said minus 10. So we then go ahead and say 32 minus 10. And then when we minus 10 from 32, it is equal to 22. Okay. Let's try one more number. The next number is the number 12. Remember boys and girls, once again, it's the same number as in the popsicle. Now here we have to once again find 10 more than 12 and 10 less than 12. So for the first part we say 12 plus 10 and that is equal to the number 22 or answer 22. And then 10 less than 12 or 12 minus 10 equals to 2 only. Now there you have all the numbers that you will then have to go ahead to write down in the spaces provided. Now let's quickly turn our booklets back to page 22. To have one last look at what it is that we have to do. Remember 10 more and 10 less. So what you need to do is you will see right next to the popsicle in the 
green block it says 10 more and in the little red block it says 10 less so the number more 10 more than 32 you write in the first space and then the number less than or 10 less than the number 32 you write in the second part now you have to do this for all the numbers in the popsicles and when you are done writing them in you can go ahead and color all the popsicles have fun finishing this activity boys and girls we will see you shortly after the break do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> We have come to the end of today's lesson, boys and girls. I hope you had lots of fun. Now, before we say goodbye, we have to remember to sanitize. Now, remember everyone, sanitizing keeps all the nasty germs away. So make sure you do it regularly. Now, before we go home, Zoshi promised me that we could have ice cream. So... Can you help me find Zoshi? Zoshi! Oh, there you are! Well, from Zoshi and I, it's goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.